Hi there, thanks for coming back to the channel. My name is Mike Pitt. I make videos about marketing, business and crypto so that you can grow your business, increase your profits and increase your portfolios. The title for today's video is, is it too late to invest in Luna? Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts. Before we get into the main content of the video, I'm gonna put my socials on screen now. So if you're active on any of those platforms, connect with me there, send me a message and I'll communicate with you there. Uh, it's also come to my attention that not everybody's subscribed. I'm gonna put a visual on screen now, shows a breakdown of people who have subscribed versus those who aren't subscribed. So if you get value out of this video or any other video on my channel, uh, then please uh, consider subscribing. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna move from this view to the screencast view and then come back at the end and wrap up as usual. So I'm in the screencast view now. I'm go I'm looking at coin market cap as you can recognize. I'm going to go through a few points which have helped form my opinion uh, about Terra Luna and whether it's uh, too late or or not to invest in Terra Luna. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, we'll, we'll just show that. I'll oh, let me just show the uh, context. So it's in Terra Luna is eighth. Uh, on the uh, coin market cap rankings by market cap size and you can see it's at an all-time high it's been at an, it's actually at around an all-time high of $107.29 it's just gone down as I've mentioned that let's click on it and look at the uh, performance over the last few years so uh, I, Terra Luna was founded in January uh, 2018 by uh, Do Kwan and Daniel Shin and that's these two guys and its main net launch so its real launch was in April 2019 let's have a look at the historical performance so we're just scrolling down now it's loading data uh, so that's just the day's performance uh, let's go to all so in uh, 2019 you could obviously have bought uh, Terra Luna for around one dollar uh, you can see it was around one dollar obviously on launch date it was less than that but where all the way up to uh so that's 21st of of january 2021 it was the 81 cents so it was launched in 2019 as i've mentioned i should start with the fundamentals and what is Terra Luna? Terra Luna is a decentralized stablecoin that uh, matches UST with the own its own native coin, which is Luna. So as the demand for UST goes up, then uh, Terra Luna uh, burns Luna to create more uh, UST. And in doing so, it reduces the circulating supply, obviously, of Luna and uh, it's this relationship is managed by an algorithm that they've created uh, and it has been uh, very efficient in regulating the two uh, currencies now let's talk about stable coins more broadly they didn't catch the imagination of the retail investors or even institution investors because obviously they're pegged at a particular level and they're pegged to fiat currencies and because of that uh, it doesn't seem very exciting to particularly to retail investors because there's not that um, massive price appreciation that you've seen with other crypto assets where huge gains have been made and guys have been you know uh, flexing their Lamborghinis and so on and talking about going to the moon however I think as uh, investment in crypto assets has uh, started to in some respects started to mature people have realized the benefits of stable coins or oh, we're going to come on to the uh, the next point uh, decentralization so other stable coins do exist tether is one of those but they are highly regulated and controlled by a few individuals or large institutions and that uh, sort of regulation and control and centralization goes against the spirit of of cryptocurrency and uh, the most viable uh, decentralized uh, uh, stable coin is a Terra Luna so that's in its favor another point in its favor is that uh, we're now going through a period and I'm going to just reference two countries we're going through a period of high inflation so in the UK inflation is now at 6.1% uh, and in the US it's at 7.9% uh, if you've watched my video uh, about 
a hedge against inflation. I made the case that crypto, crypto assets, particularly the better performing ones, are a hedge against inflation. What does that mean? In summary, that means that when people can see the price, the purchasing power of their money decrease, i.e. high inflation, they look for assets to uh, protect the value of that of that money. And crypto assets are one of those. Uh, it used to be historically, it used to be gold, but crypto assets are definitely now a place where people use them as a, a hedge against inflation. And I think stable coins are also a hedge against inflation. And that's a, a, a like a subdivision within crypto assets. Uh, but that's also, uh, Terra Luna has been a beneficiary of that. Uh, and people have put their money into, uh, Terra Luna, uh, because they can see it's holding value. There's also been a recent move in that Do Kwan, the CEO and founder of uh, Terra Luna, has been quite uh, vocal in the fact that he is building up uh, a very strong reserve currency base on uh, in using Bitcoin as that reserve currency. So he's been buying uh, lots of Bitcoin. I think he, he's allocated a plan, to, he's created a plan to uh, to save uh, 10, I think, or 11 billion in Bitcoin as a reserve currency for Terra Luna to help them uh, navigate any potential uh, fluctuations between UST and, and Luna. So that shows that uh, as retail investors and institutional investors have been more aware of that, that's given uh, a lot more uh, credibility towards Terra Luna. So those are some aspects that have made Terra Luna a rising star. And I made a, a, a short and also a TikTok about this particular point during, and this is an additional point, during 2021, uh, Terra Luna was the crypto asset that appreciated by the whole percentage. It was over 12,000%. 12,000%. So I'll link to that uh, short in the uh, in the uh, description so you can see that uh, as inflation has taken hold uh, Terra Luna has increased in its uh, demand for Terra Luna has increased they are decreasing the circulating supply when they burn Luna to obviously create more UST and to keep that uh, equilibrium there uh, all of this is driving up the price of uh, I'm just going to move myself driving up the price of Terra Luna, you can see it's around 106, 107 dollars, uh, which is a, it's been an all time high, 108 dollars. Um, so there's been tremendous growth there. Do I think we uh, have reached the, the limit for Terra Luna? Uh, I don't think so. I think there's now a greater appreciation of what Terra Luna represents in terms of a decentralized, uh, decentralized stable coin and a hedge against inflation and it's not as easy to understand perhaps for, for some uh, as uh, bitcoin or ethereum uh, but there is uh, further potential upside there so i think uh, if you're comfortable with the project and you understand it then i think it's it's something that you should and this you should in, you should consider investing in obviously this is my uh this is this video is made for edutainment purposes and this is not this does not constitute financial advice you've got to do your own due diligence your own research and then make up your own mind but i think there's uh my personal opinion is that there's a lot more room for growth and increasing demand for Terra Luna. So I think that we've not reached uh, all time, uh, we've reached obviously all time highs, but there's greater scope for uh, further increases. That would be my view. And to answer the question that I set in my question in this video, uh, do I think it's too late to buy Terra Luna? No, I don't think it's too late. I'm now going to hand over from uh, the screencast view back to the webcam view and wrap up. As you so what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, did you uh, agree with my points in relation to Luna and the rise and rise of Luna over the last couple of years? Uh, I will also link the uh, Luna website so you can read all of the primary information uh, direct from source from Do Kwan, as I mentioned. Okay, thanks for watching all the way through. If you've uh, derived some value from this video, please give me a like. Click on one of the two thumbnails to watch another video from me. I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.